it's uh, about that time for the new year to get going. Been a little delinquent on our bundle reviews for the month of January. So appreciate your patience with this video. What we're going to do today is look at the bundles that we've got coming up in the month of January. We've got a couple in store right now. Obviously, there's always talk about these changing from data mines. I'm of the position of you can look at data mines, don't count on data mines. I do content on data mines because it's content. It's for the game and it can help people at least kind of see something. It's better than nothing. So we're going to look at the ones that we know have changed, these two included, in a spreadsheet and get an idea whether you should buy any of these offers coming up in January or help plan ahead for not just this month, but we'll also look briefly at February as well to see what might be coming that might interest you a little more. So having said that, let's dive into these offers. We are going to use snap.fan and their website. Shout out to them. Thank you for the database you've got here. They generally bring these up every time something gets data mine changed, etc. So we've got two in game right now. Just looking at these, the thousand dollar gold or the thousand dollar gold, that'd be insane. The thousand gold for $10. Uh, that's going to end up being a buy just from that by itself. So we know that uh, Wakanda Wonderkind, this changed dramatically hundred dollars so this is really only going to be looked at by whales and it is now ten thousand gold normally for a hundred dollars you're getting eight thousand gold so i this is going to likely be a whale must buy we'll look at the numbers for progression etc one of the things i do want to mention is that tokens are becoming less and less valuable in the game unfortunately gold and credits are becoming more and more valuable mainly because the tokens on the uh, ladder don't, they're just, they're in, inconsequential. They're not going to do anything for you. They do help you sort of refine to get some series four uh, in, out of the spotlight cache or instead of using spotlight caches, which I prefer for. So you don't really need to use them or buy them as often. All right, so what's coming up? Uh, take flight, soar on 2000 gold, 2800 credits. We're going to look at the spreadsheet to see the ratio from credits to gold or gold credit, gold to credits there. Uh, it's not jumping out at me. It's super sexy. I mean, maybe if you're a big star on player, which many are. Mystery one bundle, 10 bucks for 150. Uh, this is likely going to end up being a pass. Doesn't look good just at the surface. January ticket one for 20 US dollars. Guessing this is a pass to 20 US dollars. Normally gets you 1400 gold. Not looking super sexy at the front end. Kings in the castle, 30 US dollars for 4,000 gold. No, Oh yeah. So this is going to end up being a must buy. Uh, 4,000 gold is normally 50 bucks. I'm a little scared they might change this one um, because of the gold, the cost ratio, but I, this is about where these offers should be. This will get everybody to buy it. You're gonna wanna keep these here. If you change it too much, they won't buy it. Ink Pulp, 4,200 gold for some cosmetics, uh, which I do like, especially this Invisible Woman one's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't play Mojo so much, but it is cool looking. Uh, 3,000 tokens, again, talking about the value there. I have a feeling this offer is going to get changed. Given that the economy of Marvel Snap really is leaning away from the tokens at this point, they're just, what has happened is all of the whales, all those people have saved so many tokens that they don't buy them anymore. And they don't really need them because they're climbing up on the ladder. So second dinner is now needing to find ways to incentivize whales to spend, and it's not through tokens. So I, I'm guessing they're going to change this and you're going to take out the 3,000 tokens. Booster packs or trash. We didn't even cover those. Mystery 2, 20 bucks, 200. Eh, this is going to be changed or don't buy it. Uh, ticket 2 for January, 20, same thing. Changed or don't buy it. Token Tuesdays, I don't, I mean, those are still sort of whatever. I think that at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they get rid of those and make credit Tuesdays. Kneel before your queen for 50 US dollars, 8,000 credits. Seems expensive for the credits, but it might be around where it needs to be for ratios. This is still gonna be your whale only type of situation. I don't think many people are gonna spend 50 bucks just for 8,000 credits, no matter how cool the cosmetic hella is. 20 US dollars for 1200 credits, 1000 tokens and a premium variant for mystery three. That could that could be okay, actually. Uh, we'll see what the ratios say, but 1200 credits in the mystery variant. I wouldn't mind taking 500 tokens out of this and maybe doubling uh, or maybe giving us 3000 credits. That'd be, I'd be a little bit more attractive there. The big gold offer, Boon of the Savage Lands. Uh, it's got a Khazar Pantheon variant, 6,000 tokens, 2,000 credits. Nobody's gonna buy this. They are absolutely gonna change this offer. It is gonna be dead on arrival in my prediction, even with the title and boosters to incentivize you to buy it and the infinity tickets. I put no value infinity tickets. It's neat, but you could literally lose in two seconds or find somebody in a matchup that is just a, a direct counter to the deck you have. 
and that sucks. So uh, we'll look at the spreadsheet for that one, but I anticipate it changing. Ticket three, 900 gold, 600 credits. 900 gold is a little over 10 US dollars. This seems too expensive to me. It's probably gonna pass. Demon Legionnaire, in towards the end of January here, 20 US dollars for 2,000 gold. Uh, that's gonna be probably a must buy. Uh, normally for 20 US dollars, you get 1,400 gold, so, or 1,450 technically. Uh, so I guess that's probably gonna be a buy, and I'm guessing that Night a Crawler variant is gonna be pretty cool and animated. Uh, Mystery 4, $30 again for 4,000 gold. This is a must buy again. I hope they keep this. I almost guarantee if you are a uh, dolphin type, this is the type of offer you want to save for in game, in my opinion. Great offer. Get some cool variants in there that might play into your albums a little bit. Definitely something I would keep an eye out for. One Man Battery Man, 75 US dollars, 6,000 tokens, 1,500 credits. This is a pass unless they change again. Uh, this might be like a way. This is probably going to be a whale maybe buy. Uh, even if it stayed this way, but I did anticipate them changing it. January ticket four, 20 US, this is uh, supposedly getting into February a little bit. 20 US dollars for a thousand gold, 3,000 credits. That's looking pretty good. Uh, 3,000 tech, I mean, 1,000 gold is normally, I don't know, 16 US dollars plus 3,000 credits. This this is a buy all day, in my opinion. Plus, you get the infinity tickets this way. This is, this is the where infinity tickets should land, is in offers like this, where you're already probably going to buy it and it really just pushes it. Like, like, oh, wow, this is even better than I already thought when I was going to buy it. And it just, you feel, it gives you the psychology of feeling good about buying something. And then those are there. It makes you feel a little bit better. So anyway, uh, Mystery 5, again, these says February, but it says January Mystery 5. 20 US dollars, 1,000 tokens, 550 gold. This is a hard pass if it stays. And then there's a bunch of February. We'll look at the February ones really briefly, just the ratios uh, in the spreadsheet, which we're going to get to right now. If you are unaware, I have a giant spreadsheet that tracks all offers in game. I've been doing it since I started the game. This is the type of thing I just do because I want to know if something's worth it for myself. And typically more people want to know if they should spend something as well. So I do some math, do some spreadsheeting just to try to get a evaluation on what it is. And what I've got here is I've got two columns here. It used to be the Token Tuesday buyers, which were your regular players who typically buy Token Tuesday and your $100 gold buyers, which are your whale Kraken types who recycle that $100 gold offer to refresh credits as much as possible in game. Those Krakens, whales, etc. And then from there, we'll do some ratios that we're gonna look at in a second. So right now we've got Bumblegum Pop. We talked about this being a game. It is 10 US dollars and they've slightly changed it. So there technically is a version two here, which we got to put in. And that version two is changed by 100 credits. So we'll see what it is. The base pricing here, Token Tuesday is $26 or $29 for your Token Tuesday, 26 for your $100 gold spenders. Your percent discounts is about 60. This is a solid percent discount. When anytime you're looking at 60 to 65, it's pretty good. And the credits of gold here at 2.4 roughly, I've got it as a must buy progression, totally agreed. It was already that before. So yay us for getting a little bit of a data mine change in a slight positive manner. I know that's typically a hotly deb debated uh, issue. Now we've got uh, the Wakandan Wonderkind. This is the Shuri variant change. Huge reduction in tokens here. Went from 8,000 to 1,000. Credits pumped up from uh, 1,000 to 2,000. The biggest change is it went from 2,000 gold to 10,000 gold. So the base offer or the base price value of this one went from 176 to 189 as far as your token Tuesdays. And it actually dropped in value from 286 to 187 for the bigger spenders. And that's because those the, the old economy used to really lean into tokens, which honestly, at some point, it, it, once they settle on their economy, I can fix this, but right now it, it, they keep changing it so it's like you don't even know what their economy is so we'll keep it like this for the time being percent discount here 47 46 percent let's look at the the ratios here we've got 2.0 for uh credits to gold that's phenomenal that's really good this is going to be a whale must buy oh, i said whale probably buy interesting yes yeah, see, see how quickly my mind can change here so uh, i looked at this here i mean i think it's still at two I think it's solid. I mean, you know what it was? It was this 2.3 that threw me off when I did it on the spreadsheet. So I still think this is a way I must buy. I would still buy it at two. Uh, 2.3 is really good, but it's a $10 offer. That's why it, you know, drops a little bit there. So next up, we've got the mystery one ver uh, bundle here. This is that mystery variant, uh, a little bit of stuff in it. Nothing exciting. Uh, $21 offer, $28 base pricing. 
pretty good discount 64 to 54 percent but the the ratios here are bad and that's exactly what i'd say so i think this is a hard pass on mystery one uh take flight sauron this is the sauron variant base pricing uh 49 dollars 38 dollars for the more expensive whale crackeny types not great per i mean it's okay percent discount 35 for your bigger spenders 49 for your smaller spenders the credits per gold is 1.4 that's not that's not great honestly it's fine it's a little bit better than what it is uh, and that's exactly what i say i i say uh maybe buy and honestly for 2000 gold i'd probably for the type of spenders that are going to look at that save your gold in my opinion january ticket one this is a, J a ten dollar offer we talked about the minimal credits and gold in this one it's i mean you can look at the cost here from base pricing to the regular it's a small percent discount the credits to gold is a little better than normal i did say probably buy i mean mainly because of this 1.6 credits to gold but honestly if you're if you're a light spender i'd skip this one it's just not quite as good as you want but for the whale types i think the ratios are there kings in the castle this is the odin doom one 30 us dollars for the 4,000 gold the base pricing was 84 and 88 dollars actual cost of 30 dollars huge discount 64 65 percent 2.4 credits to gold and this better be a must buy and it is 30 us dollars i don't call this a whale must buy this has got your dolphins covered as well and anybody who maybe splurges every once in a while i think that's one you definitely want to keep an eye out for all right so spoiler there on the art case show uh artist showcase ink pulp we already talked about it a little bit uh the base pricing here is 79 dollars. this is the one with the 3,000 tokens base pricing uh 122 so 52 uh actual dollars you get decent percent discounts but the tokens to gold it's just not good this is a cosmetic offer uh and that's exactly what i got it uh listed at here is a co only cosmetics if you want to buy this because you want these variants that's the only reason I would even consider it, which honestly is a shame because I think the variants are pretty good. And I believe uh, the, sh the and not that the art is getting anything from it, but it's fun to sort of promote them a little bit in game. And I think uh, that's not really doing it any service. All right, or it's doing a little bit of a disservice. All right, so 20 bucks for the mystery too. This is some tokens and stuff in here. Uh, again, I think that could potentially be changed. Base pricing from 34 to $46. Percent discount from 41 to 56%. Yeah, I don't like the ratios again. The tokens are there. I just straight up call it bad. Yeah, I mean, I think they might change it some because of the tokens, but we'll see. Again, 15 bucks for this one. I, I already saw it. Bad. I mean, look, this is we got a negative discount here in one of them. It, this is just bad. It's just bad. D don't buy that one. Kneel before your queen. 8,000 credits. I like this one. $108 for your base pricing for your token Tuesday. $100 gold spenders is $79 is a brace pricing $50 cost you're getting a pretty solid percent discount here of 54% for your regular token Tuesday spenders and 37% for your bigger whale types uh your credits the gold and tokens the gold tokens the gold suck your credits the gold not bad almost 1.9 this is probably a buy in my mind I said whale buy how much was it oh yeah 50 bucks that's why so yeah whale whales buy this everyone else it's not bad but i mean for if you're a dolphin -y, it's it's not solid uh but it's definitely something where you really got to think about spending 50 dollars uh economy might be tight for you budget etc and this is something i typically like to say at the front end of this and i didn't think about until now uh so if you made it this far in the video please consider hammering down that like button but also make a budget for yourself it's important to know how much you can spend on your hobbies this is a hobby this money is not an investment so you want to make sure that you can spend this and never get it back and feel good about it just like going to the movies you feel good you get entertained and then move on boon of the savage land 7500 gold this is the kazar one with la 6000 tokens 2000 credits this is just a bad offer uh i said pass tokens i really it's a bad offer but the tokens per gold technically isn't bad here uh given that uh, your token tuesdays are about 0.7 it's still a pass i don't think anyone should spend any gold on that even if you're a whale january uh ticket three man this is not i mean there's barely anything in this your yeah, your percent discounts are bad your rations are bad i did i just yeah it's bad just don't put uh, they might change that we'll see demon legionnaire this is your nightcrawler one uh we had some gold in this one your base pricing is at 44 and 42 bucks actual cost 20 about a 52 to 54 percent discount a solid 1.77 credits to gold I'm guessing this is a buy or a must buy 
probably by progression yeah i'll buy that uh, i like what that has to say there and then mystery pack four for january 30 us dollars for four thousand gold this is a must buy we already know it uh, i already called it must buy percent discounts are good 88 to 84 dollar base pricing 30 dollar actual cost great credits to gold they should absolutely keep this there everyone will buy it they should buy it one man battering ram 75 us dollars six thousand tokens again 1500 credits the base pricing here is anywhere from 125 to 206 dollars 75 dollar actual cost the percent discounts albeit pretty solid 40 to 63 percent the tokens the to gold ratio is decent at one but still i don't like this as way i said whale maybe buy again i start i start really devaluing the tokens and as i go through february i think you'll see me even devalue them a little bit more january ticket four credits in gold here uh, 1600 credits base price anywhere from oops misclick there 26 to 20 dollars actual cost 20 this is not going to be good the percent discounts bad the credits the gold uh, what i say maybe yeah i mean you, yeah i mean you've got a that's that's like a maybe by whales like only whales are going to buy that oh but there's a version two so we get more credits more gold all right let's see how much this changes yeah, look at look at the difference look at the difference here much better percent discount much better credits the gold and let me guess must buy yep very very different so ticket four, the version two absolutely buy january mystery five let's see a thousand tokens 550 gold for 20 boxes no 32 dollars base pricing 46 actual cost of 20 anywhere from 39 to 57 percent discount the yeah it's bad it's bad i look at the ratios you see the bad on the screen i'm not doing anything with that all right then we get into january and what we like to do here uh when we're looking a couple months ahead just scroll over to the right look at the and don't pay don't pay attention to the opinions that i actually haven't given them it's just copy and pasted but we like the well-suited superheroine uh that is i believe iron heart it's pretty solid credits to gold this double trouble 40 us dollars it's not bad for tokens it's got three thousand tokens in it for forty thousand but i would still like tokens devaluing right uh no let's see this uh so is spider-man grounded 50 bucks two credits to gold that's not bad i think that you're gonna see a lot of whales probably buy that one we got a couple in a row here with our ticket one and our mystery three that seemed to be pretty good uh that's dollars hellfire ready aim hellfire 2.4 for 10 bucks that's great definitely pick that one up 75 dollars for once queen that's uh six thousand uh it's a white variant or white queen variant for six thousand tokens for 75 bucks again they're devaluing that i wouldn't be surprised if that changes uh moon knight sonata decent 25 bucks for 1.6 credits to golf uh, i don't know not great 2.3 for a quad quadrennial leap year sale 50 bucks what are we getting out of that Five thousand gold i mean that's better than what's in store right now so it's probably a whale must buy and then your mystery five is pretty good so look there's not a ton of uh, offers in J or february that are blowing me away but honestly like a lot a lot of offers in uh january that really knock your socks off either i mean you could this is the most bad and orange and yellow i've had in a long time so i would just focus in on the offers that definitely suit you the ones that we looked at here that have pretty solid ratios hopefully they help you progress further in the marvel snap universe and if again if you made it this far in the video please consider hammering that like button and even throw a comment down below on your thoughts on the offers, et cetera, or just any further support for the channel, we appreciate it. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day.